The fight to eradicate giant African land snails continues. This pesky mollusk invaded South Florida about a year ago. More than 78,000 snails have been collected on over 300 properties in Miami-Dade County. Officials of the Department of Agriculture's Division of Plant Industry said the creature is tricky to catch. They're just, they're flexible, they're, they're relatively smart, they can learn, and they just find ways to get out of traps. Every day, 50 snail hunters hit the 17 neighborhoods with bait to eradicate the pest that can lay about 1,200 eggs per year. The snails were last seen in the area back in the late 1960s, but returned in September of last year. Back then, it took a few years to eradicate. The snail could cause lots of disturbance. They will get excrement all over the walls of the house. They'll chew on the stucco. They'll, um, to, to build their shell, they need a lot of calcium. And they'll get it wherever they can get it. They'll chew on cement blocks. They'll chew on stucco, whatever they can find to get that calcium to build their shell. So in addition to them feeding on plants, they'll, they'll eat your house. Officials are using iron phosphate to help eliminate the invasive species. It could take about three years to completely eradicate the snails. If you see a giant African snail, do not touch it and call 1-888-397-1517. For What's Happening, Coral Gables, Rodolfo Roman.